What's going on YouTube? Welcome to my unboxing and features overview of the Utex Smart Saturn Gaming Keyboard. This is the second Utex Smart product I've looked at on my channel. The first of which was the Venus MMO Gaming Mouse. And I thought this mouse gave you a phenomenal value for your money. And you can click on the annotation on screen to look at the video. But I've really got to extend a huge thank you to the company Utex Smart for sponsoring me with review products because it's not common that a reviewer with as few subscribers as I have gets review products. So I'm going to give credit where credit is due. I'm going to link all of their product pages in the description of this video. So be sure to check those out if you're interested in this gaming keyboard. Utex Mart apparently names all of their products after planets. And I just got to say that the name Utex Mart is very awkward to say. It doesn't really roll off your tongue like Razer or Corsair or even Rocat. But let's move on and take a look at the packaging. The packaging is very plain, so they pass the savings on to the consumer. The keyboard features seven color backlighting that you can change, 19 key rollover, you can lock the Windows key, and you can adjust the speed of your click. So if you want quick double taps, you can modify that. 20 media keys, 10 waterproof drain holes. If you hear pitter patter on the floor, then that's my dog walking around. You have laser engraved keycaps and you have switchable directional keys. So, uh, this is the instruction for use. Apparently you just plug it in and you're ready to go. There's no driver software to install. Let's open up the keyboard. Very nice, no frills, no nonsense packaging. This keyboard is a membrane keyboard as opposed to a mechanical keyboard. When you press a key, it depresses a rubber nubby thing as opposed to a mechanical key switch. But even just spamming the keys, it is a very comfortable membrane keyboard. The keycap surfaces feel really nice. They don't feel plasticky unlike some cheaper keyboards like the Mac keyboards we have at work. And the laser engraving you can't really tell how high quality the engraving is until you have a lot of use, but it feels like you could get a lot of use without wearing down and rubbing off. You have really large, easy to access multimedia keys up at the top, and even more if you use the function button on the F keys. They advertise 20 media keys. I'm not sure what this does yet, but it looks like it adjusts the intensity of the key color brightness and there are solid stops at the end of the rotation and everything seems to be really really solidly built there's no play there's oh wow there is a little bit of flex in the keyboard but you have an integrated wrist rest which some gamers would really like it can alleviate strain for those with differing hand sizes on the back you have a riser or we can just let your keyboard lay flat there are no feet actually yes there are two feet here but they don't look as anti-slip as feet on some other keyboard that I've used I apologize there are actually three feet how did I miss the middle one so they're not as Yeah, they're not as anti-slippy as some of the other keyboard feet that I've used. The cable is high quality, braided, and it has a gold-plated connector. But what I am slightly disappointed to see, actually very disappointed to see, is that there are no channels on the back of the keyboard for routing the cable for cable management, which, se which seems to be a standard feature on a lot of keyboards. So. That was a surface overview of the keyboard. Let's go ahead and plug this in and take a look at all of the colors. Welcome back guys, I've hooked up the keyboard to my computer. I'm not recording this in pitch blackness because my camera doesn't do that well in pitch black recording, but the keyboard looks fantastic with the backlighting on. And to change the color of the backlighting, all you had to do is press the light key. So there was blue to yellow, to light blue, to pink and yellowish off and red and green and we're back to blue again. Another really cool thing is breathing of the lighting. So there is breathing mode 
And you can adjust the speed of breathing by holding down the function and pressing the plus. So it cycles between the colors really quickly and you can down speed it by holding down the function and the minus key. So this breathing feature is really nice. So I'm going to set it to a constant color cycle between them. And I don't know whether it's possible to hold the breathing onto a single color. Like instead of cycling through all the colors, what if I only wanted to breathe with red lighting? Uh, I'm going to look at the back of the keyboard and see whether there are instructions on how to do it. But it doesn't look like there is. You can tone down the brightness of all the keys with this rotary switch up top. Yeah, so I mean I've read the back of the keyboard for the instructions and I don't know if there is a way to lock the colors for when the keyboard does its breathing. But the media keys up at the top work. There was one to turn off your computer and put it to sleep and trust me those work. I'm not going to press those. They're in, in the middle of my review. Um, some uh, video player keys. You can get more functions by holding down the function and pressing one of the F keys up top, including a shortcut to your calculator, which I will find in handy because I'm not the best at mental math. Um, but yeah, I will use this keyboard for a lot of gaming, and this keyboard MSRP is at a very, very competitive price. I think it's less than $30, which is pretty impressive considering the feature set, even though there were some features I wish this keyboard has, at the price point that this keyboard goes for, it has phenomenal value, just like all of Utech Smart's products. So, thank you again to Utech Smart for sending me this review sample. I'll use this keyboard in some games and I'll tell you how it performs.